What's up everyone, David Fowler here and today I'm going to show you how to adjust the wall magic clip. Any, any wall clipper really, they're all the same, just different blades, that's about it, you know, anyway. So anyway guys, I'm going to show you today how to do this. All you need is a screwdriver and you need your machine and you need something to clean your machine just in case that you already use it and it's full of hairs and maybe like a blow dryer or one of those air compression things, anyway, something like that. Let's watch the video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, remove the blade. If you have been using the machine how I have, just make sure that you take the opportunity so you can clean the machine, clean the blades, uh, clean the inside of the machine, you know, from all the hair that goes in there and all that stuff, just in case you haven't done it before. You guys gonna see when I remove the blade how much hair comes out of this machine. Uh, even though I clean the machines often, uh, still happens, you know what I mean? So just take down into consideration, uh, just in case your machines aren't cutting the way you want anymore. It could be that, it could be just, just, just so much hair inside. Just make sure that when you remove everything, put it on the side and the screws, the blade, all that stuff, put it on the side where you can actually see them. Um, many times that happened that, you know, people started like uh, trying to adjust the blade and they lose the screw, they lose the bottom part of the blade and this just becomes a mess. So just make sure you organize, you know where everything is and just remove all the hair that you can see. There's more and more hair coming out of this machine. So you, sometimes you can use uh, something like a blow dryer or if you have one of those uh, compression air machines, just use that even better. Remove all that hair, got all that hair out of there. In my case, since I don't have a, a compressed air machine or whatever it's called, a compressor or whatever, then I'm just using my, my blow dryer on, the, on high heat, high, you know, high uh, speed or whatever it's called. So just use that and you, may, you know, it will get the hair out. After everything is clean, then just make sure that you understand the concept of what we're going to do. There's two parts of, the, of this blade, right? The bottom blade, which is the cutting blade, and the top blade, right? The bottom blade uh, should be closer to the te teeth of the top blade, but not surpass the, the, the top blade. So if you, if you set it up, the bottom um, blade, which is the one that cuts, should be the uh, almost even with the top blade, but not completely even because that's, if it's too too close to it, you can cut people. So that's what we're trying to avoid. So we're gonna set it up in a way that is very close to each other when the lever is close, but not to the point that you're gonna cut anybody because then you know it just becomes a problem for you. So you want to make sure that it's comfortable for the client, it's doing its job, but you know that you're not gonna cut anyone because if you need, if you have even a smaller line than the, that this machine can take off, then all you gotta do is use your trimmer for that. You can always use your trimmer and uh, and remove that little line that you you can't get out with a with a clipper. After both blades are set up, just uh, uh, screw the the two screws. Just don't do it completely. But this is i'm going to show you the way that i kind of zero gap my machines so what we're going to do is actually use like a hard surface to kind of put push like the two blades kind of together so you know and then as you press down then you're gonna uh, completely screw the the screws so uh just make sure the lever is up right and then after you do that uh sometimes it's perfect you know you don't have to do anything to it sometimes it's not so if you see like maybe the top blade the, the bottom blades like crooked or the teeth are coming out whatever then at this point you just have to unscrew the you know, the screws a little bit and then just play with the blade they just kind of move it around play with it just look at it from the side just, you know just kind of at this point you know there's no 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 better way to do in my opinion i mean i don't know if there's a better way this is the way i've been doing it for years so just uh make sure that you know you play with it just make sure it's until you get to a point that you kind of have it and it's kind of like perfect you know so at this point just screw them back uh together and that's it that's all you gotta do i mean um just you know, i say like just this might take a little bit of a while, sometimes it doesn't because, you know, sometimes when you press it against the surface, it kind of is already adjusted. Sometimes it doesn't. So then at this point, you just got to play with it. Just, you know, how I said, make sure that it's sharp, you know, that like both blades are almost uh, even, 
but the bottom uh, but there's still like a tiny bit of space okay this is going to avoid you cutting the client it's important that you look at it from every single angle just to make sure that you know like you did a good job with it the reason i'm telling you is because sometimes you look at it from from the from the back from the top or whatever but you don't see it you know you don't see if there's like a teeth out or or something you really want to avoid this for the simple reason that if you don't you might cut somebody you might actually cut your client skin and then like penetrate the skin and this is you know this is just one of the biggest problems that you can have as a barber because then the client is going to think that he's not going to think it's a machine he's going to think that you don't know how to use the machine and that right there you might lose a client plus the client is going to have a cut uh, you know for for two weeks you know it's gonna have a scar there who knows you know it just becomes a big problem and it just shows that you're not professional you know because it shows that you don't know how to use your tools you don't know how to set them up so this is important just to make sure it's like set up perfectly after you're done uh, checking it from an angle something I like to do is just check the uh, turn it on and check it check the machine on my forearm okay the kind of the skin on the forearm is kind of very sensitive and it's kind of kind of the same as the neck i will say i mean like how it feels you know so check the machine on your on your on your forearm make sure that it's not even check it from different angles you know and then uh, kind of move it around and make sure that you know it's you don't feel it because if you don't feel it then the client won't feel it okay that's i, I think that's the big the biggest tip that i can give you when you're done and you're ready to go and just make sure you oil the machine remember you clean it so you remove everything from uh, from the blades just make sure you you uh, actually apply the five points of oil um the, the well i don't know how to say it, but the the five points where you're supposed to oil your machine so it will be three dots on the on the on the blade and one on each side so you know just just the way i did it i mean this is what is supposed to be the way to oil the machine uh, you know you're supposed to only use five drops of oil this is you know it comes on the manuals i mean i know nobody reads it but yeah that's what it says on the manual uh i mean i read in the manual either i actually a class that i did with uh i don't remember a, a educator he was playing about the machines and he shows how it's supposed to be oil so it's not too much oil you know it's just a perfect amount of oil so um make sure you know it's running you know everything's good you don't want to hear any weird sounds or you don't want to see the blade shake, you know, anything. And after when you're done oiling them, and you make sure that you re uh, remove any uh, extra oil and then spray some cool care, you know, or any disinfectant that you usually use, you know, uh, any five in one, you know, those sprays that have uh, lubricant and disinfect and do all this stuff. So, you know, um, just any oil, clipper oil will work, any, any of them will, you don't have to use the ones that I use. You know that's just what i have in hand and then after that just clean the machine really well from the extra oil and then you're ready to go so this is the way i've been doing it for years uh, i mean i don't know if there's a better way or you know like any any other way to do it this is just the way i do it if you guys have a better way or you know something just write it down leave it on the comments i, I would love to hear the different ways that you guys do to adjust your machines also this technique that i just show you it will work in pretty much any clipper i mean all care clippers are pretty much the same you know they have the same concept the way the the blades are set up and all that stuff so it will work i mean just uh let me know if you guys want me to do a video on a different clipper i can also do that but i found that wall clippers are very popular between all my subscribers so that's why i use a, a wall clipper so that's the video guys if you guys enjoyed don't forget to subscribe also don't forget to smash the like button and don't forget to share it if you think that somebody else could benefit from this video so thank you so much and i'll see you guys on the next one